Hey, hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kay Reeves. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, today's reading is going to be what will 2023 bring you? So we're going to hop right on into this reading. Okay, make these messages as clear as possible. What will 2023 bring to pile number one? What will 2023 bring to pile number one? What will 2023 bring to pile number one? What will 2023? Bring to pound number one. Make these messages as clear as possible. Universe over 2023. Bring to pound number one. What will 2023 bring to pound number one? What will 2023 bring to pound number one? And bottom of the deck, we have guilt. All right, so we have judgment, worry, and we also have relationships. So I feel like um what. 2023 will bring to you is i feel like judgment it says i understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges um where he says i am learning that where he doesn't change an outcome relationship says i'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good so i feel like in um the year of 2023 i feel like you'll be realizing how much you've changed how much you transformed how much you are not the person that you were from 2022 um, I feel like um, in the year of 2023, I feel like you're going to be looking at the people around you, the connections that are around you, the people that you hold close to you, the people that you hold accountable for. Um, what I mean accountable, because I, I, what I was going to say is hold accountable for making you happy. They don't like the people around you definitely do make you happy, but they are not what you build your happiness on. But they do play a part on, you know, you smiling every day, you um, laughing and enjoying life. You know what I'm saying? Now, I feel like they play a part in, like, uh, um, they are good additions to your life. But I feel like in 2023, you, you will be paying attention to the people around you, realizing that some people are, you know, still in a space where you have outgrown. You know, I feel like in 2023, I feel like a, a lot of transformation is going to be happening. I feel like with this worry card being here, because the, I'm thinking about the purple, that's a lot of, that's a lot about, um, intuition so and also it's about you know having oh you know some of you could also be um if i'm not mistaken maybe your birthday's in february so you could be a aquarius on a, or a pisces take that as it resonates but i just feel like you're gonna be looking at the people around you the relationships that you had around you and how people are either you know excelling in life or still in the same space that they were in prior to and i feel like you're gonna keep the people that continue to excel or the people that continue to um basically do more in their life than the people that tend to be stuck or stagnant or stay in the same space for a very long time. So that's what I have with that so far. Let's get some tarot. Make these messages as clear as possible. What will 2023 bring to pound number one? What will 2023 bring to pound number one? One last shuffle because that was bad. What will 2023 bring to pound number one? What will 2023 bring to pound number one? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. All right, so we have the three of wands here. Aries energy. What will 2023 bring to pound number one? What will 2023? Okay. We also have the five of wands here, which is Leo's energy. What will 2023 bring to pound number one? We also have the queen of cups. Sorry, you guys can't see it. Queen of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. What would what will 2023 bring to pound number one? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. What will 2023 bring to pound number one? 2023 bring to pound number one. 2023 we have the knight of pentacles so that would be a uh, capricorn taurus virgo energy what will 2023 bring to pound number one give me two more cards all right we have the will of fortune beautiful energy what will 2022 what will 2023 bring to pound number one 
make these messages as clear as possible in verse. We have the Eight of Wands here, which is um, Sagittarius energy. The overall energy for this reading is the Three of Cups, which is um, Cancer's energy. In the bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit, which is Virgo's energy. So I feel like in this, um, in the year of 2023, I feel like with well, the Three of Wands being the first card that came out, right? Three of Wands is about, you know, waiting, longing, um, Basically, I, I, I really feel like it's like fantasizing. Um, basically, one is something, but it's like it's just so far out of reach. You can see, but you just can't touch it. You can't feel it yet, but you know that it's there. You can see it. You can visualize it, things of that nature. I feel like in the year of 2023, I feel like there's going to be a lot of manifestations or you doing a lot of manifestating, manifestating, manifestating. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> um, I feel like a, a lot of praying is going to be happening in the year of 2023. Um, I feel like you realizing that you can do more. You can go the distance. I feel like you seeing longevity in certain situations. I feel like um, you're going to be also looking at the future more than looking at what's happening right now or what happened to you in the past. I feel like you're looking forward in the year of 2023, leaving the past behind you. Um, I feel like with the five of wands being here, this could be something about, cause this could be a couple of things. You may find out that people are jealous of you. People are, have mental, um, like people are mentally competing with you. Um, people are mentally comparing themselves to you, wanting to be like you. And this could be like people that are closest to you. Um, and this could, this could also be that, you know, you are either going to therapy for mental health or you're going to therapy to, because you want to, you know, mental health, the same thing, or you just need someone to talk to, you need to calm down your mind. Um, five of wands, <clears throat> healing chaos is what I'm thinking in my head. That's what I'm seeing as well. I feel like in the month, of, in the, sorry, in the year of 2023, I feel like you're going to be healing your mindset, thinking a little bit differently, um, focusing on... I feel like the only person that you're in competition with is yourself. And I feel like that's what you're going to be focusing on in the year of 2023, being better than what you were. Every every month, I feel like you're going to be trying to beat your or outdo your own self. You're not going to be looking at nobody else. You're not going to be focusing on anybody else. I do feel like you're going to be realizing that you have some friends or people around you that really do hate on you or they want to be like you or they want to copy you or they always want to belittle you or try to downplay certain... Like, like always trying to... Like, if you say something, they say something too, but what they're saying is like a contradiction of what you're saying or it's like it's always some type of bad news or something like that. With the Queen of Cups being here, if, um, I feel like some of you could be becoming mothers. It doesn't have to be that necessarily. I f also feel like you're going to be um, transforming into being a little bit more lovable. I feel like you probably always have been very lovable, but this year of 2023, I'm seeing that you're going to be very m more open with your love. I feel like you're going to be more nur nurturing with certain things, especially people that nur nurture you or love you. And um, you know how they have filled your cup and things of that nature. I feel like um, in the year of 2023, you're just going to be in a space where you, yeah, you open to love. I feel like, I don't know why I'm getting that. You was in a space where you wasn't conditioned to love the proper way. And I just feel like, you know, you're tired of having your past basically dictate your future or dictate your present. So I just feel like you're going to just be going to be, you're gonna be open to love in the year 2023. I feel like with the Knight of Pentacles being here, I feel like things are going to be moving slow when it comes to, I feel like everything else around you. I feel like you're going to be focusing on work a whole lot with the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is the slowest night, right? Um, I feel like you want to do things the right way. I don't know why I'm feeling like, I don't know if you was doing stuff wrong or you was moving too quickly. I feel like you're going to be taking your time with certain shit so you can get the stability that you deserve and, you know, allowing things to fall into place like how it's supposed to fall into place. I feel like with the will of fortune being here, I feel like there's going to be a lot of good things coming towards you. Even with this eight of wands, a lot of good communication, people coming in. I feel like you allowing divine time in the, um, play or run its course with the will of fortune being here you could be even coming into some money it doesn't have to be a lot or you could be coming into um yeah coming into some money or coming into some a real big fortune all right i feel like um divine time is in order for you i feel like the clock has you know it's starting to turn in your favor all right um 
eight of wands, like I said, there's communication coming in, but a lot of also a lot of good blessings coming in as well. Things that I feel like you truly do deserve. So a lot of those things to come in and it may come in um fairly quickly. And it's just like hmm. Some of you could also be signing contracts. So make it make sure that you pay attention to um the fine print in the contract. So you could be signing a contract for a house, an apartment, a job. Just pay attention to all those things, okay? Look at all the fine print. I do feel like there's going to be some type of good communication coming in, communication that's going to be telling you some, like, fairly good news. Maybe some of you could be also getting a phone call that you're pregnant or that you're going to be able to, if you have been trying to become pregnant, that you, this is a good time for you to try to become pregnant. Take that as it resonates. With the Three of Cups being an overall energy, I'm seeing that this year of 2023 is going to be a lot of celebrations, a lot of hanging out with your friends. Um... The friends that deserve you, I feel like um, you're going to be very busy in this month of, sorry, I said the month, in the year of 2023. Very busy. A lot of celebrations, a lot of good things happening. Um, yeah. With the hermit being at the bottom of the deck, I definitely do feel like you're going to be to yourself. You're going to be um, preserving your um your energy um your light i feel like you're you're going you're you, you i feel like usually you are a healer you could be an empath it could be very empathetic right um i feel like in this year of 2023 you're going to be holding that down a little bit and not trying to heal everybody or allow everybody so close into your space okay that's what i'm getting make these messages as clear as possible um what will 2023 bring to my beautiful pile number ones make these messages as clear as possible what will 2023 three bring to pound number one okay so we have new beginnings or beginnings my deck is upside down what will 2023 bring to pound number one make these messages as clear as possible universe give me two more cards we also have number seven nourishment what will 2023 bring to pound number one make these messages as clear as possible and we have number 26 surrender bottom of the deck here we have number 15 action so i feel like we're the year we bring to you overall is like new beginnings. You're not feeling so left out. You're not feeling like you're so alone and realizing that it's okay to be by yourself. You know, you could be, um, you could be surrounded by a million and one people, but still feel very lonely. And I feel like you're one of those people, you may have like a lot of people around you and stuff like that. People, associates, friends, best, like, you know, you have people around you, but you still feel like you're by yourself. You still feel like you're alone. You still feel like people don't get it. So I just feel like in this um, year of 2023, I feel like this is going to be a new doors opening for you. This is going to be a brand new beginning, a fresh start. Um, I feel like with this number seven nourishment, I feel like you're going to be taking care of yourself a little bit differently, probably changing how you eat, things of that nature, focusing on you, nourishing you, because I feel like you are someone that's very nurturing, very motherly very caring you want to help everybody but i feel like th this this year is about you okay and you allow it i feel like if you are a believer in god or if you believe in spirit or universe um i feel like you're just leaving it in god's hands you're leaving it with spirit you allowing the universe to do what it does and reaping the benefits at the end of the day so my beautiful pal number one that's all i have for you i hope that it resonated if it did let me know in the comment section i will catch you in the next one peace out babies hello my beautiful pal number twos today's reading is going to be what will 2023 bring to you so we're going to be hopping right on into this reading <laughs> all right thank you guys for liking comment sharing subscribing i'm very grateful i'm very thankful but let's hop right on into this reading what will 2023 bring to pal number two what will 2023 bring to pound number two? Please make these messages as clear as possible, universe. What will 2023 bring to pound number two? What will 2023 bring to pound number two? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. What will 2023 bring? What will 2023 bring to pound number two? What will 2023 bring to pound number two? Give me one more card. What will 2023 bring? Number two. We have worry at the bottom of the deck. So the first, the cards that. The, the cards that we got out was health, love, and we also have denial. So I feel like in this year of 2023, I feel like I'm hearing healed love i'm hearing a healed heart um health says i will honor the physical vessel that ensures my soul love says i commit to the practice of seeing good in all things denial says i acknowledge my fear but i replace it with the insight of awareness okay so these are for my this i feel like this pal in particular is going to be for my emotional gangsters i feel like in the year of 2023 i can see you 
trying to love again and this is probably going to be a more of a romantic kind of situation especially with these particular cards until we get the rest of the tarot i just feel like you feel like you are healed enough to allow someone to like into your space into your heart space you know into your mind and things of that nature i feel like you feel like you're strong enough to allow someone to basically into your heart you know but i am seeing with this denial you do have um as good as you may feel as healed as you may feel and how over your ex or a toxic situation that you feel like you may be you still are in denial that someone is going to play with you you still are in denial that you know that you're not enough um you're in denial that maybe you're not ready maybe you need some more time you need to um continue to wait or you know you're just not in the space to be in a relationship you're in denial about love Okay, I feel like maybe you even feel like in, in your head that you will never find true love or you will never find anybody that's suitable enough for you. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. Leave these messages as clear as possible. How will they, what will 2023 bring to power number two? 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 We have judgment here. What will 2023 bring to power number two? We have the three of wands. What will 2023 bring to power number two? We have the king of pentacles. What will 2023 bring to power number two? What will 2023 bring to pound number two? We have the double card here, Capricorn energy. What will 2023 bring to pound number two? We have the Page of Pentacles, so Capricorn towards Virgo. What will 2023 bring to pound number two? Maybe one more card. We also wow, we have the we have the Eight of Swords here, which is. Gemini energy, the overall energy for this reading is the world card. And we also have the temperance at the bottom of the deck, Sagittarius energy. So we do have the three of wands, Aries energy, uh, Scorpio, I said Scorpio, uh, Capricorn towards Virgo with the king of pentacles. Um, <clears throat> but we're going to hop right on into this reading. I feel like with this judgment card being here, first of all, I want to say you guys are divinely protected. All right. You are protected. You have spirit guides angels that are around you that like to guide you in specific directions you may get a certain a certain nudge listen to that nudge to go in a specific direction with the judgment card being here i do feel like maybe you may have had some type of spiritual awakening some realization an eye opener may have happened some of you may have had a near-death experience or someone around you may have had a near-death experience or someone around you may have passed away or they could have passed away but they like you know it didn't happen um I feel like what will 2023 bring to you is you just having an eye opener for sure. Like I said, it could be someone around you, you yourself in a certain situation, but there's going to be some type of eye opener happening for you in the year of 2023. Um, I feel like with the um, three of wands being here, I feel like this, this is a sense of longing. This is a sense of waiting, patience, things of that nature. In the year of 2023, I feel like there's something that you're going to be having to wait on. Um, something that you've been waiting on for a very long time, I, I'm hearing that you're going to have to continue to keep waiting, okay? You're going to have to continue to keep waiting, continue to manifest. Make sure that you, everything that you're asking for, like, be very specific. Like, when you are asking for anything or you when you are manifesting something, make sure that you put the time, the color, the height, like, everything that you're trying to manifest, make sure that you're doing that shit to a T. So I just want to throw that in there. With the King of Pentacles being here, I feel like in the year of 2023, I'm, I'm seeing that there's going to be a, definitely a sense of, of of stability. For some of you, you could even be um, meeting a, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. You could be meeting somebody that's a little bit um, that's stable, someone older than you. It doesn't have to be that. This is for those interested. I'm sorry, I'm slapping the mic. For those that's interested in... Um, that is interested in love, I do feel like you have somebody that's coming in towards you, all right? Um, but I, I just feel like 
with the King of Pentacles, the Devil card, and the Page of Pentacles, I don't know why I'm getting into you. Like, this is all the same person. Like, this, someone, this is someone that could be very, um, very stable. This is someone that could be having all their shit together. You know, this is someone that probably even looks older for their age, but they're, like, the same age as you, but they look older. You know, I don't know why I'm getting that, but that's neither here nor there. I feel like, um, and this could even be you mending a relationship, or some of you could be in a relationship right now with a, um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. With the Eight of Swords, you're going to be realizing that you don't have to stay in this relationship you can move on from this situation if you you so choose you know that's what i'm getting here as well now it doesn't have to necessarily be that mean that this person is a, a earth sign a, a capricorn taurus virgo it doesn't have to be that it could be the fact that this person embodies this energy this is someone that's a workaholic i'm also hearing aries this is someone that's a workaholic this is someone that likes to be stable they like to dress a certain type of way but there's certain things that they do that is very immature that's what I'm getting here. And I feel like, like I was saying, I feel like it's definitely someone that is, like, that likes to have... I feel like this is this is a person that likes to have things in order, structure. They like to um they like I think like they like to dress nicely and things of that nature. Um, I don't feel like I, I'm not getting control, but this person could be a manipulator, especially because they have money and this is someone that's very stable, things of that nature. It doesn't have to be, but I feel like with the eight of swords, I feel like you're gonna be realizing that you're in a situation that you don't have to be in. You're you staying stuck in a situation that you don't have to be in. I feel like in the year of 2023, I feel like you will be breaking free out of a situation. Okay, um, maybe even traveling, moving on, um, mending old relationships, maybe broken bonds because of the situation of you being with someone that, you know, maybe people didn't like. Take that as it resonates. I feel like you're walking away from something toxic, though. Definitely walking away from something toxic. This is a situation where you didn't have to stay in it, but you chose to stay in the situation. With the temperance card being at the bottom of the deck, I feel like you're going to be working on your... Um, your patience. I feel like you're going to be working on yourself. You're heightening your intuition with the third eye being there. Um, and I, like I said, listening to your spirit guides, listening to the nudges, listening to that gut feeling. Okay. Make these messages as clear as possible. What would the year 2023 bring to pile number two? But others of you, I'm, I'm definitely feeling like um, stability is definitely going to be playing a part here with the king of pentacles i feel like some of you are going to be very stable um i feel like with the the devil card some of you are going to be having like negative thoughts towards certain situations maybe feeling like you're not doing enough maybe feeling like you're not where you need to be with this page of pentacles that's what i'm getting here maybe you feel like you're not where you need to be and you're just like trapped in a situation like this don't have to be just a, a relationship this could be like you feeling trapped at a job feeling like your job is not paying you enough feeling like you're not you know you're not at that King of Pentacles level and you know you should be. I definitely just feel like in the year of 2023, you're going to be realizing that maybe the job that you have or the relationship that you have, whatever is bringing you stability. Like some, I know there's people, and I, I'm not here to judge. I hate people that judge everybody. Don't make no sense. But, you know, you could be a person that you get stability from the person that you're with or you can get stability from the job that you have. And I feel like you're going to be changing that situation because you feel like you're stuck. You feel like you have to be there and you don't have to be there. And I feel like you're going to be coming to that realization that you don't have to be there. And you're staying in this uh, a certain um, situation because of the love and how much it cared for you or how much you care for it. You know what I mean? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. What will 2023 bring to power number two? What will the year 2023 bring to power number two? Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. What will the year 2023 bring to power number two? Okay, so we have number 26 released. Like I said, you're letting go of something. You come into the realization like you have to let it go. Especially if you want to transform and you want to soar. You want to excel in life. Make these messages as clear as possible. What will 2023 bring to power number two? What would 2023 bring to town number two? Make these messages as clear as possible. Let me just give me two more cards. What would 2023 bring to town number two? Okay. We have nourishment. What would 2023 bring to town number two? Give me one more card. One more card for town number two. Thank you. All right. And we also have number 40, darkness. Bottom of the deck, we have number 37, fruition. I just feel like yeah, you, could, you could be coming out of a dark space and finally realizing like there's a path to get out of this dark space. You don't have to remain in this shallow, 
like what the fuck should I do next kind of situation. You could run towards it too. You know the rabbit don't um the rabbit moves fast. And think about the turtle and the rabbit. The rabbit wasn't paying attention to shit. The, pa- the rabbit was just like, I'm going to go. I'm out of breath. Whatever the case is, the turtle's not going to win. I feel like this type of situation, you can go um, basically head first and have, take that leap of faith down this road and down this path. And you don't, even though you don't know what's happening next, at least you know you're going to be walking out of the darkness. I feel like with this number seven nourishment, I feel like you're going to be taking care of yourself, eating a little bit differently, nourishing you feeding you you understand i feel like a lot of you are going to be um with this health and nourishment maybe some of you could also be on a weight loss diet or trying to lose weight maybe some of you could be gaining weight because you don't like how you look but i just feel like everything that you're going to be doing is going to be up for a healthier virgin uh, virgin of you okay so my beautiful pal number two is just all i have for you i hope that it resonated if it did let me know in the comment section i will catch you in the next one later babies Last but not least, we have my beautiful pound number threes. Thank you guys so much for being here. Today's reading is going to be What Will 2023 Bring to You? So we're going to hop right on into this reading. What will the year 2023 bring to pound number three? Thank you guys for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. I'm very grateful. I'm very thankful. And let's keep going. Let's keep going. Make these messages as clear as possible. What will 2023 bring to pound number three? What will 2023 what will 2023 bring to pile number three and make these messages as clear as possible universe okay so we have empathy what will 2023 bring to pile sheesh what will 2023 bring to pile number three we have surrender what will 2023 bring to pile number three and we have growth we have happiness Okay, I feel like you're going to be continuing this behavior. I feel like you are someone that's very happy-go-lucky, and I feel like you are an empathetic person. You could be an empath. You could be a healer. You could be a fellow tarot card reader. You could be someone very... You could be. You don't have to be spiritual, spiritual, but you're spiritual. <laughs> okay, I feel like you, you could be someone that's very spiritual, though. With empathy, it says, I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. Surrender says, I can release my need to control. Growth says, I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. I just feel like my sweat is so lengthy. I'm sorry, guys. But I just feel like in this year of 2023, I, I can see that you're going to be continuing the life that you are continuing what you already do. Like, listening to everybody talk, being everybody's shoulder to cry on, um, being the person that... I feel like you, you... Like, with the surrender card being right there in the middle, I feel like you're just realizing, like, this is... This is my life purpose. <laughs> I feel like you're just going to be realizing, like, all right, I am here to help people. You could be here to help people grow. You got, um, I feel like you, you, your life purpose is to listen to people, give people advice, you know. Um, you may also be a person that kind of meets a lot of toxic individuals, narcissists, and things of that nature. I feel like you are, yeah, I feel like those of you that pick pound number three definitely are my healers and my empaths and you know, you care about so many people's feelings and all this other bullshit. And I feel like you're just realizing, like, yeah, you got to let it go because it is what it is, you know? Um, I feel like... I hate when people sit there and be like, oh, I only bring in these certain type of people in my life. Oh, I don't... If you say that and that's what you're claiming, then that's what's going to continue to happen. I do not claim that shit. Narcissists do not belong in my life and I do not attract narcissists. Narcissists can kiss, kiss my ass, like, period. <laughs> okay, but I do see a sense of growth. I see a sense of you growing up, maturing, things of that nature. Some of you could be becoming legal. I know there's a bunch of different ages that watch my um, YouTube channel, so you could be becoming legal. Or you could be doing something that's making you feel like you put your big boy, big girl pants on, take that as it resonates. So you could be um, signing to own a property, maybe buying your first car, maybe moving into your first apartment. Like, I just see that there's a sense of you growing up. Adulthood. I feel like adulting. That's what I'm hearing. Adulting in the year of 2023. You're not playing with nobody. You know? You give it to who give you give it to those that give to you, period. All right? So, I mean, and look. Let her find at the bottom of the deck. I didn't even realize that. Make these messages as clear as possible. What will 2023 bring to pile number three? Make these messages as clear as possible. Over the year of 2023, bring to pile number three. We have the two of cups. Cancer's energy. What will 2023 bring to pile number three? Make these messages as clear as possible. I don't want to take that. It don't feel right. What will 2023 bring to pile number three? Over the year 2023, bring to pile number three. Make these messages as clear as possible. Over the year 2023, bring to pile number three. 
All right, we have the Ten of Wands here. What would 2023 bring to pound number three? The Ten of Wands is Sagittarius energy. We have the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is Taurus energy. What would 2023 bring to pound number three? We have the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is um, Leo energy. What would 2023 bring to pound number three? We have the Two of Pentacles, which is Capricorn energy. What will 2023 bring to pound number three? We have the King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. The overall energy is the Three of Cups. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles. I just seen 444 on the clock. Okay, so with the Two of Cups being the first card that came out, I just said something about you loving people that love you and pour. Like, you know, you're going to be pouring into people's cups that pour into your cup. I feel like in the year of 2023, some of you could be um, stepping into a, a, a divine counterpart or you stepping into a soul connection or you finding someone that loves you like how you love them. I, I'm, I'm seeing here, like, maybe you're going to be fa um, falling in love or maybe... Um, getting into a, a deeper relationship or you know putting a title on a relationship if you've been talking to somebody for a very long time and that's something that's going to start off your year so maybe some of you are close like we are in november november right now next month is december so you could be getting a relationship in the month of december or you already are you know in a compatible relationship or like you are connected with somebody but it doesn't like you guys haven't solidified all right we together and i feel like by the time 2023 hits i feel like you will be like all right this is my boyfriend this is my girlfriend this is my girlfriend and this is my boy like you know what i'm saying like you guys are going to be like all right this this is working this is what we're going to be doing i feel like that you guys are going to be getting in, into the groove of things with the ten of wands being here i do feel like you're going to be carrying some burdens from the year of 2022 you should not but i feel like you will because these are things that um is weighing heavy on you because you probably thought that you was going to be done with certain things in the year of 2022. You thought that you wasn't going to be able to, you had to carry the, you know, the extra bullshit from the year 2022 to 2023. I just, I, I feel like there's going to be like, before the year is over, you may find out a couple of things and it's going to kind of, you know, bother you, especially in the beginning of the year. You know, I feel like with the seven of pentacles being here, I feel like in the, in this year of 2023, I feel like you're going to be focusing on things that bring you longevity, things that you can watch grow and, you know, you can nur nurture it. it. It sounds bad to say, but like, you know, mold things into your, your liking, but you know, it is what it is. Um, I, some of you also need to be careful with money. I, I, I'm seeing like, I'm thinking about this right here, that one pentacle that's right there and it seemed like it dropped. Pay attention to money. Okay. Pay attention to don't, don't drop your money. Don't drop your money. You could be you could be dropping a lot of money in the year of 2023. That means you're helping out a lot of people, but you know you take it from yourself. So pay attention to your money. Make sure that you keep your money in your wallet. If you have been like you usually keep your money in your wallet, but as of lately you haven't been keeping your stuff in your wallet. Make sure you keep all your cards, your money, everything that's important in your wallet in your bag secured. Okay. With the seven of wands being here, I'm definitely seeing that there's going to be a sense of you needing to set. And have healthy boundaries. Like I said, you could be an empath. You know, you could be very empathetic. You could be someone that is a natural healer. And with that being said, you know, you do attract vampire, I mean, energy vampires, you know? People that want to be around you just because you have really nice energy. Um, because of how you carry yourself and things of that nature. So you need to set and actually uphold these boundaries that you will be setting in the year of 2023 i feel like you're gonna be coming in like we all do like this is my um new year's revolution i want to do this 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 and this and this make sure that you put in there that i want to set and affirm and actually uphold these fucking boundaries you know because i feel like people be kind of pushing you to the limit and you know making you want to say yes or feel like you have to like you don't have to do shit you have to you, I was about to say you have to stay black and die but I know everybody not black you know what I'm trying to say like at the end of the day you just gotta be you and do the best that you can and live the best life that you possibly can period that's all you that's it <laughs> with the two of pentacles being here I feel like if your life is out of order in this current moment I, I do see there's gonna be a, a form of structure and you being able to I feel like if there is chaos or if there is some nonsense, if there is some bullshit that comes that gets thrown your way, I feel like you're going to be able to juggle it. You're going to be able to take care of it. You're going to be able to maintain that situation. I am seeing that in this year of 2023, I'm, I am seeing a lot more stability than what it was in probably 2023. I mean, 2022, excuse me. Um, so that's really a good thing that no matter what's getting thrown out your way, this, this could be like a now 
Okay, take it as it resonates. This could be the fact that maybe you, your rent goes up. This could be the fact that, you know, some type one of these bills go up. Even though it gets thrown at you, it gets tossed your way, you're still able to maintain those things. And that's a fantastic thing. Okay, nobody wants no bills going up, but it's a really good thing that you're going to be having so much money that it doesn't bother you. It doesn't phase you. That's what I feel like is going to be happening. Your stability is going to be next level in the year of 2023. I feel like with the King of Swords being here, I feel like you're going to be very vocal about certain shit and you're going to be standing firm on, I said no. I said I'm not doing this and I said fuck that. You know, I definitely see that you're going to be telling people what you don't want to do and how you don't want people treating you and people are going to have to respect that. My, my sweat is real lengthy. It's like really bothering me. I'm so sorry. Um, with the overall energy being a three of um, pentacles, I, I, you know, you kind of remind me, I'm looking at this growth and I'm thinking about the king of pentacles. You could be someone that don't like calling in for your own appointments. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but you know, you could be definitely, you definitely could be someone that doesn't like to call in for your own appointments or make your own appointments and things of that nature. You know, you still have a sense of growing up. That's what I'm seeing here as well. I feel like in this year of 2023 is definitely a Delta in, for real, for real. But with the three of cups being the overall energy, I definitely see that there's going to be a sense of you hanging out with friends, celebrations. Um, you know, I'm seeing yes, yes, yes. Excitement. Like I'm so happy for you smiling, drinking and stuff like that. If you do like to drink, um, um, the the bottom of the deck is the knight of I said the knight the nine of pentacles right underneath that is the the queen of swords I do I feel like this year is definitely going to be working in your favor for real for real I feel like you're going to be um still working on your individuality and not allowing if you are or you if you are in a relationship or you do become someone that's in a relationship in the year of 2023 I feel like that's not going to stop you from being who you you want to be like it's not going to stop you from being any less of you know pound number three. That's what I'm seeing here. Let's see what else we have. Make these messages as clear as possible, universe. What does the year 2023... What will the year 2023 bring to pound number three? Make these messages as clear as possible. What will the year 2023 bring to pound number three? Yes. This is going to be a, a really good year for you guys, I'm seeing. This is going to be a really good year. What's at the bottom of the deck? We have number 33, Blossoming. So the first card that came out was number 16, Power. Number 5, Growth. And we, oh, sheesh, number 5, Growth. <laughs> and number 19, Balance. So I just feel like in this year of 2023, I feel like you're going to be stepping into your power, stepping into the universe and realizing like, oh, okay, you know what it is, what it is. Like I said, with the surrender, allowing, like putting things in God's hands, putting things in universe hands, allowing spirit to be like, to work on that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, any relationship that you do get into, this is could be romantic or strictly platonic. I feel like it's going to be, um, this person is going to be guided to, you're going to be guided to this person. You're going to feel like, all right, I could talk to this person. Or, all right, this person is meant to be in my life for a reason. I feel like your intuition is definitely going to be heightening in the year of 2023 because I feel like that's something that you've been working on, um, trying to open up your third eye chakra. But I feel like everything is happening in divine time and growth. Everything takes time. You see the clock right there. Everything takes time, but you're going to be wise and you're very balanced. You're, you're better. You're better at things are going to be working in your favor.